everybody, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Right, I have got your June 2016 monthly readings for you. Just a quick reminder, it's not uh, applicable to everybody. Sometimes your moon or your rising sign might make more sense for you to you for a particular month. So please check those out as well. I've heard that that happens sometimes, um, though I've not personally checked it out myself, but it does happen sometimes. Also, all the Vimeo video extra psychic messages for June are all listed below in the information section. So if you'd like to click on one of those, it's just $3.99 um, for your extra messages. Go and check those out. If you would like a private reading from me, please click up on the link in the corner. Um, I'd love to get you booked in and do a reading for you. I do twin flame relationship readings, normal relationship readings, Celtic crosses, angel messages, all sorts of things. Also, the offer is still going on, even though I've not got it up because I just haven't had time to do it yet, um, for the healing and clearing sessions on Skype with me, one-to-one, -one, um, get help with awakening symptoms, twin flames, just about anything really, uh, for a half hour session, it's just $25, um, and again, in, uh, please email me for that one, info at huskylight.com, that information is also below. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for subscribing to me. I am really um, staggered, really, <laughs> and taken aback a bit sometimes by the um, by the amount of growth that, that my channel has um, in such a short amount of time. So thank you so, so much. Um, this is going at the beginning of all your videos for this month. Um, I Because it's June, uh, first of all, I've got, I'm using my new cards this month. The, the Gilded Tarot Pack uh, by Sarah Marchetti. Um, so that's really good. And if you just stick around a little bit longer after your reading, I'll be drawing a card for each month for the rest of the year up to December, just so that we can get a quick overview of what's going on. So all that being said, here's your reading. Enjoy. I love you loads. Uh, namaste. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi Taurus, welcome to your June 2016 reading. Stick around at the end of it, I'm drawing another six cards just to give you an overview of the rest of the year as well. Apologies it's a little late, um, it's, it's bloody hot here and there's an awful lot going on but I'm, uh, I'm nearly there with them. Right, let's get started. Knight of Pentacles to start off with. So you are toiling away, some of you, you're working hard, it's a slow job or it's a methodical job, it's something practical, it's something grounded, um, it could be that you're just working very hard at work, um, if you're going for a new job or something like that, it does say that you're likely to get the job, however, if you're going for any interviews or anything this month with the Knight of Pentacles, you have to be traditional about how you are in an interview please don't go into the interview and start saying i can change the whole company and i can um implement and bring in all these new things and make it all streamlined or do this or do that and something like that your this potential employer will not be looking for that this month they want something that somebody who is reliable who's grounded who is the page of pentacles who does things the way the company wants you to do things they're not looking for somebody to come in and change everything and overhaul everything so that's if you're <coughs> specifically if you're going for an interview this month for others of you if you're in your you know your normal day-to-day -day job again it's not it's not about doing anything out of the ordinary stepping out the box in any way it's just rolling your sleeves up and getting on with it um, just taking all all care of the little things if you take care of the little things the big things take care of themselves this also applies to your family life to your relationship all of that sort of thing it's um it's just a really practical card in relationships things are likely maybe not to be all that romantic at the moment if you're not in a new relationship it's just about working together and getting on with things uh, being a team and just being equal, um, having knowing that 
knowing that relationships can be hard work sometimes or that you have to put the work in to a relationship to make it long lasting, to make it stable, to make it grounded. Um, so it's a really, it's, it's a very boring practical card, unfortunately, um, around the beginning of the month. You're not doing anything particularly out of the ordinary. It's a good financial card. Um, it's good, it's good for money. It's, um, some of you might be waiting on some sort of money message to come through. Um, to make your finances more stable or to keep them stable that should be coming in um but it's not like it's a huge windfall or anything like that it might be overtime that you've been working for that comes in for you your challenge card is is the four of wands so you've got a bit of a challenge this month as in to get out for god's sake and have a really good time and start to celebrate it's really good um there could even be, oh, I want to say with the Knight of Pentacles, some of you are saving up, putting money aside for something, either a holiday or a wedding, or so you're being very methodical about putting money aside, being very financially um, responsible there. Um, four of Wands as a, a challenge. Have some fun as you're doing this or try and have some fun. Um, some of it might be a bit boring, but there's some opportunities coming in for you to get out and about. You may have invitations to weddings, christenings, that sort of thing this month. And just be happy and easygoing or try and be happy and easygoing because this is the challenge card. So it might be that you're just working that methodically towards something or working within something being traditional that you might not notice what's going on around you you might not notice that it's summer in most places in the world it's um the sun is shining people are happy things are going on you're just very sort of you've got your blinkers on you're like the horse in the knight of pentacles with your blinkers on and just being very very focused on something where there are opportunities where you can just celebrate be happy celebrate life and again it's the challenge card so you might not pick up on that or you might not feel altogether like doing an awful lot of celebrate it doesn't mean that you're unhappy or anything and um, you can be very happy sort of toiling away or doing whatever this is you're doing this month um but the challenge card says try and celebrate a little bit more. Get something, try and do what you're doing in a fun way. Try and make it more fun. Try and make it more exciting. Um, have a good time in whatever you're doing this month. Next card is just in your past position. And this is the Page of Cups. Let me hold it up for you so you can see it. Um... Now this is, I think maybe the end of last month or a couple of weeks ago or something, you were being quite childlike, you were being quite funny, maybe cracking a few jokes, getting out there, things were good, as in you were a little bit more carefree, you were being a little, you were getting your inner child out and everything and, and now it's like down to business with certain things. But there was definite there. Page of Cups was also, um, for some of you, you had some sort of emotional offer come through. Um, and it can still happen. It might not have just happened just in the past. It can still be happening. An emotional offer com coming through, usually of a nice, emotional, good, happy type. Um, so it could have been an invitation to something. It could have been, hey, let's move in together. Let's get married. Um, let's date seriously something that is close to your heart i'm pregnant something along those those lines some really nice emotional news but it's like maybe the excitement has worn off from the news or maybe you've got used to the news that came in or the proposal that came in and now as a result of that you're having to sort of just get down and get some work done um so maybe you took a little bit of time out past couple of weeks and and did chill out and now it's it's back to the hard work again but at the same time if it's back to the hard work don't forget to, to get it balanced 
with some fun. Don't make it, oh, I've had my playtime now and now I've got to go and work really hard. It's it's finding that balance and being able to have um, a good time. I've just noticed my nails, excuse me. <laughs> my nail varnish is coming off. So have a good time as well with things because don't forget that. Some of you may <clears throat> forget that as the month goes on. Next card we've got here is the Seven of Wands. I'll try and hide my nail varnish. Seven of Wands. You may be being defensive about something, some of you. You feel like you need to stand up for yourself. You feel like maybe some act that you're doing, some situation you're in, something that you've said, you're having to defend yourself um, in some way. It's like a competitive it's a competitive situation for some of you. Some of you, this is actually a competition. Some of you are, are thinking about some sort of contest or competition this month where you are really competing against other people. And I actually feel for some of you, this is some sort of talent thing, music, um, singing, dancing something that you've got a really good talent for um but you're up against other people you're up against other acts and you're going through um i'm not saying you're going to win but i'm saying that you're going to be successful maybe making it through to the next round or making it you know up a step it's not going to be an automatic no go away you rubbish type of thing Some of you, it's some sort of project, but lots of other people, I don't know what this is, some, lots of other people doing the same projects as well. Um, but that's on, that's on your mind. So that's quite a specific message. I'm, I imagine that is not for, for all of you. Um, but it is, it is something that's, that's on your mind. But I think for others of you, there may be some sort of situation where you just think you've got to stand your ground or you feel a little bit defensive about something or maybe you're trying to protect, even trying to protect somebody else in a situation. Um, having to speak your mind, having to put your foot down. Whereas maybe maybe you didn't want to be in that position to have to do that, but you may have found yourself having to having to speak your mind somehow. Yeah, being very being very defensive, maybe being defensive as to why you're working so hard at the moment or why you're being so focused on something, why you're trying to make something work at the moment for you um so it's quite interesting <laughs> page page of pentacles in your subconscious position um that's talking about some of you may get a bit bored you might just feel a little bit bored this is why i want you to get out and have some fun you know you did it last month don't get trapped in the work or the focus thing too much. I know that it's something that's really important to you and it probably is financial as well, but there's an element of boredom coming in for some of you where you are um, you are toiling. Some of you might feel like you want to step out the box, but this is just not the time to do it or this is not um, the right opportunity to do anything different. I feel like some of you are stuck in a job and you feel like you don't particularly want to be there and you want to change but somehow for some reason it's not the right time for you to go and change jobs it's not the right time for you to leave there are too many um it's like you've got loyalties within within the workplace or you've got several things that need to be completed before you can leave. It could even be some of you are going on holiday or going on vacation or thinking about it, but you know that there's like several chores or several 
or something that you have to do to get all of you get you need to get your life cleared up a bit or more in order before you can go away before this happens for you so there's there's that slight idea of oh god i've just got to get on with it <laughs> this now is not the time four of pentacles this is this is feeling very very secure because of what you're doing for some of you this is going to go two ways actually for some of you you're feeling quite secure you're feeling quite wealthy you're quite proud of yourself that you're putting money aside for something that you're working towards something um be careful of feeling like a little bit of a miser where I feel like this is a time thing for some of you you're not wanting to give out any of your time to anybody at the moment because you're so you're working so hard or you're so focused on something else um even if you're bored doing it it's like you're toiling towards something so it's almost like you don't want to give your your time or your this could be towards another person directly feeling like the, 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 you don't want anything to do with them or feeling that you don't want to give your time or your generosity or your attention to them that you'd rather stay sort of within yourself like if you get involved with them or if you start talking to them or something it's just gonna throw everything else out it's gonna disrupt your itinerary it's going to disrupt your your life somehow um so you're trying to i don't know if you're trying to avoid them or or you're just simply ignoring them for the moment just like no i've got to get on with what i need to do now's really not the time and no i can't go out for a drink with you i, I can't see you i can't it's just i've got to get this cleared up before i can do anything else it's that type of of feeling with it and it's just and it's and it is a card of holding on to things too too much as well emotions or other people or situations not wanting to let go of them or not being able to let go of them at this time um again because of certain circumstances um is is not enabling you to to let go of something your four of wands definitely comes in here as a challenge card you need to relax you need to chill out you need to um whatever you're clinging on to you need to let go of the reins a little bit and lose control of it a little bit because it's not particularly healthy for some of you it could be a relationship for some of you it could be that job it's not making you happy though clinging on or it's not making you happy being particularly focused on it all the time even though you feel like you you have to um some of you are just going to work because you feel like you have to and and now's not the time to change or maybe the economy is not right or maybe the there isn't enough jobs going around um, and you don't want to be there particularly but you're having to be you're just having it's almost like a, a repeat of having to do the same thing day after day after day um, if you could get out of, of this train of thought things could change things would turn around for you start to try and make different plans you don't have to step out the box within your job or you or within your relationship at this moment but you can start to make plans to move out of it you can you know if you're in an unhappy relationship or an unhappy job and you're getting bored with it and you're holding on to it for grim death because it's the only thing you've got you can start to make plans to move away from that to start to try and relax and just think oh god what's the worst what's the worst that's going to happen if i did let go a little bit it might be that you relax more relax more and think yes yeah, i'll do it something will come along everything will work out and i'm going to put things into action to help make that happen 
So I am going to be a little bit more less um, <laughs> anal, a little less anal about things this month and just and just relax a little bit more, have some more fun, get out and about a little bit more with things, not be so hard on yourself. Um, it's like you'll get, it's like I'm on a really strict gym regime at the moment and I have to go running every single day and it's, and it's boring you, you know, th different things, but, um, that sort of feeling to it just give you it's like give yourself a break give people around you a break but give yourself a break is i think is the most important thing because you're getting stage you're getting um stuck in your life in situations that you can't seem to to move out of your your overall advice for the whole reading get some bloody fun in your life do something crazy do something out of the box do something more with your family this month concentrate more on home and family don't concentrate on work so much don't concentrate on problems so much um you can be you know you can be toiling away at something but you have to take time out in order to have fun as well some of you um It's like you're just getting getting carried away with the the day to day stuff. You're sweating the small stuff, and the advice for it is: be uplifted, get happy, get some days out, spend more time with the children, spend more time at home, do more things that you want to do, even if and if you haven't got the money, you know, go and do something, go on out for a walk, go to the park, be more childlike, do more happy happy things um do something romantic with your partner don't do the same things day in day out with them um make and make more of um an effort to step out the box and be different just to liven things up a little bit to get lively that's your advice is just just to get get happy and get lively um with relationships people situations family around you they've got the queen of cups so i think if you could be a little bit more uplifting do something different accept any invitations that come through to you this month don't turn around and say oh no i'm too busy this month i can't do it I've got to get this work finished or I've got to do this or I'm having problems in my relationship and that has to be worked on first. Let go of the reins a little bit. You will make people, family, members, um, relationships a lot happier around you if you can do that because the this card is, is um, this could be an actual person in your life. And they're quite, they're, it's like they're quite happy to get on board with you and do do something different. They'd be quite happy to do that, if, especially if, you, if you're sort of bored. Um, they could be wanting, <clears throat> somebody around you could be wanting to spend more time in the home, wanting to spend doing a project, doing something different. It doesn't have to be a partner, it can be a friend, a family member. Um, they're wanting to get a lot accomplished over the month. They're, they're trying to, um, they're making a lot of headway. Some of them are, somebody around you is, is, is organising some sort of do or organising a wedding or organising a holiday or, and this could be a, your partner, the both of you could be doing it. But again, it's take time out for yourselves and have some fun as well don't work and toil like crazy people up until the moment you go away um this person's probably got dark hair as well whoever this person is around you uh
and it's like they they want to get out and have some fun as well they want to feel a little bit of, of freedom with this card coming up um they're money orientated but at the same but at the same time there's there's fun there there's a lot of compassion there's a lot of love going on with this card as well so this is definitely um i don't think this is a situation i think that this is more um a person around you and i think this is probably for most of you either a boss or a partner um they're being very hard working as well they're trying to bring through some they can be trying to bring through something bring through um more money this could be a libra like, like blah, libra rising sign or moon sign but they are very loving they're very um compassion compassionate um and things will be going well for them and i think that if things are going well for them especially if it's a boss or a partner or something things will be going well for you maybe you're just not seeing it as well at the moment because you're so focused on something hopes and fears for the month it's the six of pentacles when i can pick it up um being balanced in your life finding a balance finding a balance between work home relationships family and finding that nice um balance there some of you will have a problem finding balance this month others of you will be fine and it will be it will be good it's a turn for the better things are getting better for you things are getting are improving for you money will probably improve this month when this card appears and it's all about being fair being equal so don't don't step into yourself don't cut other people off from you or try and cut other people off for you even if it's not intentional again if you're focusing too much on something you could unintentionally not give enough attention to people around you or not realize that you're not doing that so this is about completely just finding fairness and balance within your own life and all areas of your life and in doing that you will make a lot of people very happy around you and a lot more comfortable around you when you're doing that instead of just concentrating on on one thing um it points to more money coming in for definite it points to the fact that you may not have to struggle as much as usual but there again you're still I, I still feel for some of you it's like you're stuck in a certain situation going round in circles um so nothing's going to get any worse <laughs> nothing's going to get any worse this month um health is good with this card there should be some sort of increase in health for you if you haven't been feeling all that well lately this should improve for you um and again this could be something that that you're doing but i don't want you to overdo it i don't want you to overdo anything with it um you know like exercise too 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 much or be too bloody healthy your outcome card so my cards get messy when i'm drawing them out <laughs> they start off all nice and straight two of swords um again this is another card of balance for you the outcome card by the end of the month should be that you found balance it should be that you can take that blindfold off not be completely focused on something and try and find some balance in different areas of your life or an overall balance um because trying to hold those two swords is pretty difficult to do it's like take your foot off the gas pedal a little bit relax a little bit less control over everything less control over it um be fair in things and things will be fine by the end of the month that's what will happen by the end of the month um your r romance your relationships should be a lot lighter by the end of the month 
and going into a more balanced period as well where you're both giving the same amount but it's because you're not as worried about your relationship or you're not as worried or even job wise you're not as worried as things you're not you have taken your foot off the gas a little bit by the end of the month things are a lot better for you um being happy within yourself being completely balanced within in yourself not looking particularly um you are complete on your own you are complete on your own so nobody is um oh god i don't want to say this being com you're complete on your own you're whole don't try and look outside of yourself to try and make yourself whole. Know that you already are within you. Make sure there isn't any sort of, for some of you I want to say, make sure there's no sort of codependency on somebody else, some sort of neediness against somebody else, or maybe they're doing that to you. Um, maybe that's why, you're, for some of you, you're trying to back off from a situation or not get involved in a certain situation. Um... I think by the end of the month this will be balanced and this will be be sorted out for you if that's the case right it's quite a lot of messages going on this month for you let me draw all these cards in and let's see what the the rest of the year um has in store for you i'm going to do this in two sets of three so july August, September, let me move those up a little bit, okay, four of swords here in July, a lot of you are in June, saving up or putting money aside for a holiday because it comes up that you're going on holiday in July, um, a vacation, so this might be what you're working methodically towards in June, for others of you, if this is not a holiday, be careful and get enough rest. This is your need for a rest. Something has happened, a situation has happened, which means you, it's like, give me a break. I need a break. Um, for some of you, it's a short illness or some sort of small surgery that needs to be done. Whatever it, do, whatever it is, it means that at least for a few days during July, there is a need to... Get yourself together, have some rest, maybe spend some time on your own, have a good, you know, just um, recharge your, your batteries um, in order, you know, for the, for the next phase. It's like you've, um, you know, for some of you, you've, you've almost burnt yourself out. So be careful with that. August, we've got the Eight of Wands. I'm trying to hide my nail. Uh, August, we've got the Eight of Wands. Um, things might be up in the air for you. In August, it might be that you're waiting for something to come through for you. Um, things will come through for you. And when they do happen, they'll happen very fast. But there might be a period of, oh, when's this going to happen? When's it coming through? When am I getting the phone call? When when am I able to move house? When am I? And then suddenly it'll just all happen very very quickly you'll get that phone call and it'll be like oh move 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 so be ready be ready for what's going to happen in in august make sure that you've got everything prepared uh because when it happens when the sale of the house goes through or whatever that is which i feel it could be for some of you things will move very very quickly at that point um the star card some of you got weddings planned um, in September that are coming through for you, which is which is this is this is beautiful. You're feeling self confident. You're feeling that some of you are having a baby as well in September. That's coming through for you. There's just complete hope and faith in the future with this card. It's it's the yes card. It's your dreams. It's your wishes. Things beautiful. You are, are getting to a place where everything is starting to come together for you things are looking rosy um and it's really nice 
new opportunities coming in for you uh, can very well be on the work front um, when this card comes through so if you have been you know if you're ready for a change which this card says you are then it's at this point yes I can change my job yes I can get into that new relationship or a new relationship comes comes to you at this point it's just whatever it is it's the yes card whatever it is that you're wanting or working towards there's a really good chance of it coming in in August now September October oh god here we go again I do this I've done this every time July August September October November December so October what have we got here three of ones in October um, finances are going fantastically it looks like some of you have put the planning in for something the planning stages have already gone into it and you're already starting to move forward with a certain plan it's a three you've already started to move forward with it for some of you this is a project or a new business um, and now you're waiting for your ship to come in you're waiting for the money to come in now it's it's coming in because you've put the work into it um, really really self-confident month for you feeling wonderful about this as well very very positive um, and it is it's again after the star card as well it's really good so maybe maybe the month before with the star card you've got the go ahead for the project you've got the go ahead to start your own business you've got the go ahead for the loan you got the sale of a house through or some and this it you know from plans that you made and now in October it's you're going for it you're moving forward with it and the results are starting to come in from what you've you've put into it in November we've got the ace of pentacles this is new money coming in for some of you this is that pay rise this is that uh new wages from a new job coming in the new project this could even be a windfall um for some of you those of you in committed relationships that have been together with somebody for a while this is working together um not not in a job in a job sense or anything this is just being together this is new commitment this is some of you could be re renewing vows in november renewing your wedding vows or making an extra commitment to each other like yes we're going to move in together or something i think this is more for if you've been together it's going to a deeper level with something um it's a really nice card and it's a new beginning in everything in all areas going on for you some of you will finally be able to pay off pay off a certain debt that you've pay, been paying off for a long time um maybe you get a lump of inheritance through or something that enables you to pay off certain certain bills that have been a bit of a millstone around your neck that come through for you right December we've got the five of cups um make sure you're being be positive because you've got some really good stuff coming up for you so make sure you stay positive in December because this card says that you might be focusing on the negative in things there could have been there could be a relationship split up for some of you um and you're upset about that and you're focusing on what went wrong why did it happen um you know instead of and instead of being thankful for what you still have in your life for some of you it may be a pet passing away or something and, and being obviously in that upset stage um delays for some of you as well frustrations for some of you um like you're trying to get things moving you're trying to fill in paperwork for something but it's not coming back fast enough or these delays in it. it could be divorce or something for some um this is this is the all is not lost card though this is focus on the positive don't forget you've got so many blessings still in your life <coughs> that are going on please don't focus on focus on whatever it is that 
there is a hiccup with in December okay so that's your reading I hope you enjoyed it I love you loads and loads remember to click up on the in the corner for a reading um, or go below for your Vimeo video um, extra psychic messages for this month see what else is in there um, I will speak to you